Toy Fair is back for 2023. I'm Myung John. Let's explore together. Hey everyone, my name is Ryan from Charts. I'm here today at the New York Toy Fair. It's our last day and uh, we're gonna have a look around of some of our new releases and uh, what you can expect from us in the near future. So to start, we have right here our latest Flash mask from the latest movie, The Flash. 1-1 one -one scale art mask, just released a couple of uh, weeks ago. So super excited to have it at the show. Well, the particularity of this one is that the LED is inside the actual statue. It's layered on a different uh, layer of resin, transparent, translucent resin. So that's how it gives that, that effect. And on PRs.com, you'll be able to see that we have a complete lineup. We have the, the Flash, the Bat Flash, and also the Young Barry uh, Flash Mask. There's actually lenses for the Max, so I'm just gonna tap on it so you can see with my hand the yellow lenses. We are really true to the movie and uh, how it looks like. We work close with our licensor to get assets from their movie to go from there and all our license and approved by the, the licensor. So for this one, of course, it's Warner Brothers another one of our art masks that did really really well released earlier this year it's the Terminator T1000 from Judgment Day this one is one of our best releases uh, in 2023 you're looking at the deluxe version standard version is 499 and it doesn't come with the uh, actual stabbing end but for the deluxe version you can have the chance to get your hands on the actual stabbing end that is magnet stable on the statue and there's two positions for it. This is the first position, and now that second position for the statue. So what's really cool is that for the same price, you can have your collectibles be showcased differently. These can be wall mounted as well. The head is easily removed. So you make sure to secure these two pieces. So these three are the holes that you, you use to wall mount this unit. It comes with a gabarit, sorry, I, it's a, <laughs> for the French word, but it comes with a gabarit that you can put on your wall to make your holes and you make sure that uh, it's gonna be stable and solid on your wall. So the mask is gonna stand like this with your, the, the actual head this way. So you can actually have the, 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 the Terminator art mask almost, it looks like it, it's literally coming out from your wall. Next up, it's our one-of-a-kind Lord of the Ring Sauron art mask. First release uh, from our collection. Now we are at three uh, uh, Lord of the Ring masks. And hopefully by the time this video goes out, you will be able to look at our fourth one. Um, so Lord of the Ring uh, Sauron, you see the actual mask. And then underneath you see Baradul. All of her masks live on landmarks from the movie and the um, universe of Lord of the Rings. With this mask, you get two pieces for the price of one. So I'll just show you how you can display both the mask and the stand together. So you simply start by removing the mask. Like this, super easy. It's only a rod, uh, steel rod that holds the mask in place. And you can just me, that's how it's uh, displayed at my house. And the steel rod come off easy. You can put it back in your uh, box. So this way you can have both pieces live together side by side. One of the cool features of this uh, mask is the LED feature. So right here on top, you see the eye of Sauron. And we made sure to get that uh, lava feeling, mortar uh <laughs> we feel with all the lava and LED that you see around um, Barato. I don't see much of other premium statue, I mean, really using the LED in a way where it makes a lot of sense. And again, on PRs.com, uh, you can see the other mask. Uh, actually, on our video right now, you can see Mouth of Sauron. This one lives on the Black Gate. So exactly the stand that you see, you see it's part of the Black Gate. Uh, and we also have the Witch King. This one, of course, is standing on uh, Minas Morgul. And for the fourth one, I cannot say much, but hopefully you, you, you'll be able to see it right now on PRs.com. In that same scale uh, as you just saw from the uh, art mask are three art masks from Batman. The first one in the middle is Batman 1989. Fun fact with this one, 
our uh, owner, Hugues. He's been in the industry for a long, long time in, and uh, he is friend with the actual person that owns the real prop replica from the movie from 1989. Uh, and he was able to borrow the entire suit, 3D scanned it, and the mask was cut out of those 3D scans. So you can, <laughs> it's, so it's the closest thing as you can come of the real thing. So for this mask, what's different is a material made of polyresin and some of rubber to make it feel like a real costume. What was important for us, since it's a cowl with pointy tips like that, we wanted to make sure that if you bump into it by mistake, those tips doesn't break. So that's why the rubbery texture was important for us. We've designed that material in our factory, really close to the real thing. It, it's gonna avoid damage if you want to move it around. The Yellow Batman logo is always with a magnet and you can actually remove the mask to see the stand underneath. So I'm just going to start by removing the logo and show you how it looks like underneath. Similar to the Lord of the Ring mask, uh, we like to make sure that the stands tells a story also or it's actually part of the universe, not just like a black slab of resin. The steel rod can be removed so if you want to put the mask somewhere else, you can just show the stamp. To make sure that the collection tells a similar story, they all come with the same stands, but with different pieces attached to it. On the right, you see the penguin mask with his scarf. And on the left, you can see the Catwoman mask with her whip. So that's how you can easily differentiate each pieces if the mask are not on it. And we've translated that to also our Catwoman mask. So it's the same material, but for this one, we added a gloss finish to simulate the material seen in the movie uh, as close as leather as possible. Lastly, for this collection, we have a penguin mask. So for the first time, we went ahead and worked with silicone, and we tried to put an important item that you see in the movie from that character. So of course, the cigarette, the scarf, and the top hat. The top hat is in a furry, uh, super soft texture and it's removable. So you can remove the top hat up close. You'll see like all the veins, the wrinkles on his forehead and the air are actually punctured. So all of these air are punctured one by one, by end uh, into all of our masks. This one is super limited. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, we only had 50 to 100 exclusive uh, on our website and uh, up to a max of 400 units worldwide uh, in our distribution uh, centers. That's it for our line of uh, masks right now that we brought for New York Toy Fair 2023. If you want to find more, make sure to go on PRS.com and make sure to follow us on Instagram, Facebook and X at PRS Official.